Okay, I hate, I hate, and I, I don't think there's nothing scarier than cave diving for me, and to be trapped in the deep, deep cave, and uh, two weeks ago. 12 thigh boys who are from football team and their coach has vanished to the caves in Thailand and they have been found Monday uh, they are uh, regarding the place from where they were f found they were quite good condition uh, British divers John Volanthen and Rick Stanton found them and the first <laughs> Uh, the boys were very happy, and they asked food. We are hungry. They they were whole week, twelve years old. What was their age? Oh, boys were trapped there over week. Um, the cave is. Uh, around six, 26 degrees warm uh, so it's good place to be because it's warm and uh, you can drink good water it's drinkable water from the cave walls so that's that's the good part of the story but they were hungry Um, dive culture Joni Piispanen said that it's not the safest way and not the easiest way to take them by diving from there and it's quite possible that not everyone survive. Why didn't I write how old they were? Hmm. Yes. They are trying to teach those boys to dive they don't know how to swim and they are quite deep deep in the caves in that mountain uh, more than two kilometers and uh, one diver said that more than more than one day job to dive there and the diving is very difficult there are so small places that you have to take your breathing gases off your back the dive needs skills and these boys that are young cannot even swim. So there are this possibility that they stay there. <laughs> Dogs. That they stay there 
and uh, they bring food and they try to take the flow mon monsoon water out of there. The problem with the diving is that uh, the water in those caves is muddy and there there are flows flows that you cannot take you don't know what happens there how 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 powerful powerful the flow is there you don't know and you you can't see anything so it's very tough place to be what did i say The culture there is 25 years old. Mm. They they wish that they could find uh, the boys has uh, boys say that they have heard the dog barking. So there is a, a small possibility that there is some some way out uh, by climbing perhaps uh, and um, they have said that it's the most important thing is to keep in touch the parents that those boys believe that this is something they could survive. Uh, the danger in diving is, as I am pretty sure that I could die in there, <laughs> because when you are in a small place, uh, you cannot see and you cannot swim or you cannot dive. Uh, uh, and at, at this place is quite small there, uh, and you are weak, you start to breathe too much. And uh, the gases makes it worse, and you start to panic, and you die. And nobody, this no one that can help you. The only way to survive is to breathe and relax. But how is it possible for these boys to survive? I don't know. They are trying to uh, teach these boys to trust they are trying to teach these boys uh, one part at a time to uh, breathe calmly there <sighs> That's just so under age sixteen were those boys Tom Luang. Jiang Rai They believe that the rain, monsoon rain has flooded the caves. They were they went there when it's when those caves were dry and and 
suddenly the caves floated with water and they were trapped there. What they know about those caves. Tam Luang caves are in Jiang Rain province in Th Thailand. It's uh, 10 kilometers long. It's very uh, difficult even for professionals. And it's a quite dangerous place, as we have seen. Mm. There are people from US. And... Uh, from Britain, from Finland, and everyone tries to do as much as possible. And at that time, I see US President Trump is here in Finland. Okay. Why did I read that? Okay, I I'm so worried about these kids as everyone, I suppose. Uh, there are thousands of people from from all around the world. Uh, there are tents for divers and rescuers and tents for uh, people that want to help and are from media. It's, it looks like the condition that they are in the cave, they are not well enough to be saved by diving. And that's bad because the monsoon is coming. The r heavy rains are coming pretty sure. Uh, perhaps at Saturday, the heavy rain is coming going to flow flow the caves there they are fighting fighting with the time and no one kilometer so this is around Two kilometers. These are places that you cannot dive with your equipment on, and here you have to climb. Scary shit. Okay. I put some links and I try to edit edit this to be hearable. Take care. See you. Bye.